you already know what's going on it's pokemon alt red time baby let's go how's it going everyone appreciate you tuning back in as always this is episode 11 turns out i didn't realize we were that deep into this game but we are uh we are going to be taking on gym number seven today uh and then hopefully checking out some gunstone evolutions which uh if you've got no idea about that uh you're in for a treat the word treat is just like such a weird word for me now because we have a dog twilight and he has a few trigger words that like if you know dogs like if i say treat he like he gets so excited because he's he like yes i would like a treat so like i, I don't know there's just there's just certain words like that and, and, and also like if i say food or dinner or hungry he like he perks up and he's like yes i i am food hungry and dinner anyways uh appreciate you guys as always like the video uh thank you uh gym seven fire type okay let's not bring our steel type to this gym let's bring a water type i think that makes sense probably don't want to bring an ice type but we'll do it anyway we're gonna try out monster here i believe the level cap was like 54 let me double check i don't know why i did that i'm sorry yeah level 54 sick this thing still hasn't evolved this thing's decent yeah yeah you know what i Mm, I think you know what speaking of twilight let's the spring the spring the dog I don't think this thing's gonna be much use to us right now anyway oh stalgamite you are not meant to be here but yeah if you haven't seen the last episode uh kind of crazy stuff uh we went over a bunch of changes that has happened between uh the the last update and this I was playing like a I was playing basically this update but like I guess it didn't have all the sprite implemented yet i'm so glad i've got the mushroom thing because i can just speed through leveling up like this and not care about the moves i get rid of because i can just reteach them with mushrooms although that does bring me to actually a pet peeve of mine that i i wanted to make a youtube short about it oh scald's pretty good actually maybe we keep scald i wanted to make a youtube short about it because it is something i'm like super it's annoying okay so if you don't know i do free-for-alls sometimes on my second channel hood cal uh, i also do like these uh then we fight videos uh also can i just say any video that watches both channels i'm sorry i've been slacking on the then we fights a little bit lately i am still currently a one-man army and i have to manage both channels on top of live streaming and i've also been taking on some thumbnail work for other youtubers like quite a few other youtubers actually have been making thumbnails for which is super awesome because eventually in the future i don't know when but i'm not obviously going to be sitting in front of the camera playing pokemon forever so eventually i want to you know do back end stuff like i want to edit videos and make thumbnails so it's nice to get experience uh, a lot more of it at least uh, anyways tangent aside i make these free-for-alls and i make my pokemon legitimately i don't hack them or anything so this video i was working on i leveled up my pokemon evolved it and everything come to find out when I'm making the move set for it, it only so the, the Pokemon is Ludicolo. It only learns Leech Seed as a Lotad, a level 25 or something like that. And it just can't, it straight up can't learn it as a lot of Ludicolo. And that just I hate that stuff. I think the most famous one is Breloom. Breloom uh, cannot learn Spore. Uh, it has to learn it as a Shroomish and then evolve. I think there is a wild Breloom that you can catch in Scarlet and Violet that has Spore. But besides that, you have to have, like level up Shroomish level 4A, get Spore, then evolve it just to have the move. But I, you literally cannot reteach it. It's very dumb. I really hate it. Uh, there's another example uh, that's really like it's um, I think it's Sligu or something. Um, I think it's like Iron Defense or Acid Armor or something like that on Sligu. It cannot learn it as a Gudra. It can only learn it as a Sligu. It's it's incredibly dumb. It's incredibly limiting. And yeah, maybe I just need to get into the habit of not evolving my Pokemon before I make the move sets for them. That way, if there is a situation like that that occurs, I'm prepared. But it still doesn't change how dumb it is. And uh, I wanted to basically ask you guys, give me some examples of this happening to you or, or examples that you know of. Because like I said, we know of Lotad and Leech Seed, uh, Breloom and Spore. Uh, I think it's it's either, I think it must be Iron Defense or Acid Armor for Sligu. I kind of want to make a video about it, just a small video ranting about it. I'm not sure. So if you have any more examples, please let me know. I know this has not been related to uh, the actual content at hand. I apologize. Uh, I just sometimes go on little tangents like that. I'm corked up like that. I'm, I'm, I'm different. I'm different than y'all. I just be talking. Anyways, before we can actually take on the gym, we gotta go into Cinnabar Mansion. Sorry, Pokemon Mansion. Poke Pokemon Mansion. There'll probably be some new guys here we haven't caught yet. Oh, baby. Yeah, this guy's edgy. Also, I heard your comments. You guys were saying, yes, check out Amalgam Magenta. I think I will. I think we will check out Amalgam Magenta after this. 
even if it's just like a one-off video i'm not sure and then after we check it out hopefully fingers crossed variety blue comes out right after so we've got the back to back to back series baby let's go <laughs> it is really hard to like think of like rom hacks to play though because like i don't know storyline rom hacks don't really catch me as much as like rom hacks that just have changes to sprites it's it's really backwards oh it's him shocking i love this guy so glad we get him now because yeah i mean essentially i'm just playing fire red and emerald over and over and over and over and over again but we're not here for that we're here for the the sprite changes and to it, it's a glorified reaction video <laughs> i mean yeah there's some gameplay because you know the this is alt red with a gun did i say that this episode i don't think i did this is all red with a gun so it's uh it's the harder version and because it's hard i actually have to make some gameplay i have to i have to make some some moves you know i've got to make some gamer moves ew i do be waffling um yuck duck you can say that twice i don't think i mentioned it uh, and this actually probably only applies to like very few of you but if anyone is playing this game and their pokemon that once was shiny is no longer shiny apparently it's because I, I think they they changed how like shiny pokemon work or something or other and it like obviously it uh it just it unshinied some pokemon <laughs> that's what i was told because I, I did have a question mark shiny uh diglet or the question mark diglet and then all of a sudden it was gone it was no longer shiny whenever i updated my game and yeah it was because of the update so if, if that happened to anyone else that's why the shiny algorithm changed <gasps> it's the guy we love this Pokemon. Why is he looking kind of silly though? I didn't mean to kill him. Oh, hey, Octillery. Oh, it's like went back to its OG design. So for anyone that doesn't know, Octillery back in the day, I think was meant to be more tank-like. Uh, this is the 2020 version. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't change too much. I guess it's just a little bit more detailed. Okay, this thing can be just found here at like level three. Interesting. All right, it's gym time, baby. Let's go. Oh, there's Muck, which I don't think we've seen yet. Sorry, Muckma. The old one. Yeah, I think they just used Emerald Sprite instead of Fire Red Leaf Green Sprite. It looks fine. There's the old mascot of the game. Oh, wow. We've seen a lot of Pokemon. Nationally, we've seen 366. Like, there's very very few pokemon we haven't seen so we're like at that point in the game you know i did not mean to battle you yet all right blaine first attempt for sure all right what do you have for me blaine okay these two guys i'm gonna surf oh yeah i forgot surf surf did that in, in gen gen uh what gen is this gen 3 we gotta only hit two people oh and he has water absorb interesting i probably should have been paying attention to that when i was battling them earlier power gem ow jesus that's not good lovely kiss this idiot get gleamed oh god okay bye bye oh well, this is not a strong start now we're going to i mean i can't really surf okay we'll just have to make sure this miss Mukma gets out of the way not as easy as i would hope he is gone though thank god no more water absorb pokemon please and the sun is strong okay burned my physical attack and Okay, this is not going to plan. Oh, hello, ne Necrovile. This is where we have a hyper voice. Wait, the super glitch it? Super glitch does hit both. Okay, cool. Let's surf and super glitch. Super glitch. It does stupid damage, and I think it also has a decent chance to. Nope, nope. Okay, it didn't, didn't do anything. He wasn't kidding when he said, Wow, I hope you bought a burn heal. Surf, hyper voice. Does he have soundproof? Are you kidding me? I hate it here. He just has an answer for everything. This was not my peak performance. All right, let's try this again. Knowing. Hold on. I'm really stubborn, so I want to beat it with the team that I have. Super glitch. We froze the fire type. Awesome. Gold. Die no not quite well though it's missed i will absolutely take it all right we'll shadow ball the muck ah, this battle is a pain in the ass they like have the perfect cut counters to stuff like i want to go in with special attackers so special attackers will use surf but then the muck is is got water absorb and he's a fire rock type i guess i just need a ground move but then they have will-o-wisp so i need like a special ground move which there isn't really much of i don't need it I, if i can like just go first I have Mud Bomb. You know what? I'll teach Mud Bomb this guy. Why not? Mud Bomb this idiot, and we're also going to super glitch to make sure it dies. Die. Absolutely, please. Thank you. And we get burned. This thing is a ghost fire type, the Necrovile. You can Dark Pulse that. Gold does more, though. Because it's, it's stab. Dark Pulse does not. And then we Shadow Ball it. Searing Slam. Ouch. Gold doesn't take it out. Shadow Ball should, though. Nice. All right, this thing sets up Drought, which is not ideal. I'm going to Psychic it, and we're going to just hyper voice or damage never mind we're dead that's fine though one mon down not bad i think being paralyzed in the corner is nice maybe we uh lovely kiss explode about okay sky went down unfortunately i'm gonna surf all right i got dragon dance off it was fully paralyzed i'm not gonna get greedy it is a fire fairy type though um yeah let's oh yep 
Hyper Potion, awesome. It gleams. Ouch. All right, wing attack this idiot, Surf, and he heals again. Very fun. All right, Swilderbat's gone. The Jellicent's gone. Sorry, I've got to put my gamer face on. And oh my god, what the hell is that? Bat battle? Oh, I don't even know what that is. Is that Octillery? Yeah, it is an evolution of Octillery. Oh my goodness, okay. Fire Steel type. You're faster than me, really? I want to die. And you go down too? We're so close to the end. Please don't let me lose. Wait, we'll go. Rose Leech? It's a fairy drag. Okay, we'll Glacial Bang. And then we'll body slam this idiot. And of course, we're getting burnt. I love getting burnt. Hey, we got a confusion off of Glacial Bang though. Confusion comes in clutch. And we miss, of course. Why not? Glacial Bang is going to be able to finish off Rose Leech. Body Slam. Oh, so close. Wait, I'm, I don't think Ice Shard will finish it, but we'll see. Please. Let's go. And that's why I get paid the big bucks. So I believe the Gunstones are located on this island. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. So apparently two island is where we want to go. Ooh, so this cave, Cave Brink. Oh my God. Uh, Mellow Slayer. Okay, hello. I don't, what the hell? I don't think that was in the original. I don't remember this thing at all. Smallest mode. So I believe this thing is the holder of gunstones. Uh, so we need to thief. And if we just come here, take the item, it is a gunstone, yes. <laughs> a peculiar stone that makes a certain species of Pokemon evolve. It is, a, is a, it is as dangerous as a gun. Okay, looking at it, there appear to be 15 gunstone evolutions. So I'm gonna just quickly grind this out. I could probably just cheat it in, but I don't really, it, it's a custom item. I don't really wanna risk that, you know what I mean? I don't really wanna risk my save file. I mean, I could just make a backup, but like, it's not gonna take me long to get 15 of these, so. And there we go, 15 gunstones. Oh, I can't use PC services right now because I mean, I, I don't know, I guess I have to do the mission here. So let me do that really quick. Oh, the, the bikers just aren't here, huh? So you can just catch this thing out in the wild, apparently. Nope, not Rattata. It's ba Bachelor Lurley, this thing. So one less gunstone needed. Oh, this guy too, huh? Do I even need gunstones? They are kind of a pain to catch though, so maybe it's worth just gunstoning up. All right, well, we're a Bond Bridge now. Oh my God, I forgot how much I love the Vigoroth change, dude. They actually slayed, they slayed. Oh, we can find the cute boy now. Look at how many Pokemon I own. I own about half of what I've seen. We've got a long way to go if I'm gonna complete this Pokedex. I'm gonna be realistic stick with you guys i don't see me completing the pokedex in videos because we'll just be going over a bunch of pokemon you've already seen before so it might actually just be things that i turn into streams and then after i've completed it maybe we'll make a video on the pokedex especially if they put like actual work into the pokedex entries i actually kind of want to check them all out you know oh my god you big grizzly beast i love you okay i don't know expert tuckle tucker sorry expert tucker is that okay level 60 is the level cap for this apparently i didn't realize this was like an important battle i probably should have paid more attention to that i mean we lost so Oh, I've accessed my PC. I don't know why that never clicked. Okay, we have some gunstone evolutions to do. First and foremost, before we take on expert Tucker. What type of name is Tucker anyway? Sorry, sorry to all the Tuckers out there. So actually, this thing has a gunstone evolution. So maybe the fact that it didn't evolve with happiness is a blessing in disguise. Because now we have the gunstone evolution, which looks a little something like this. Okay, I like... Okay. Oh, it's got Kyogre's Cry, first of all. I like the the happiness evolution more, but um, you know, it's not every day that we, we have a gunstone evolution, I suppose. It is a fairy normal type, which I'm actually game for. This is a gunstone evolution, I think. And funnily enough, this actually is a gunstone evolution too, which is why we've been holding it here. I think we've already seen this thing before. Absolutely creepy. Uh, reminds me of squid game masks. Uh, I like it though. Pretty cool. And then we've got red rum here. I don't believe we've seen this yet, actually. Red rum's evolution, which takes Marowak and turns it into this absolute demon oh my god yes malawak that replaced ladias so they must have replaced a bunch of legendaries with these gunstone evolutions which i'm actually all for this thing is so cool dude let me see if i have any other gunstone evolutions apparently both of these guys are gunstone evolutions we already know about snorlaps and of course golby this was like the first final boss that we had to face this thing was this thing was scary dude ah oh, yes how could i forget these guys oh wait pew pew is not gunstone evolution why did i hold it so late then it evolves in it evolves at level 30 interesting maybe Maybe it used to be a gunstone evolution or i'm absolutely just tripping up we love we love a uh, intro bang though i don't know if i really care to use it now so late in the game but so pew pew here is actually looking at the document is meant to be a wishy-washy and it evolves into wishy-washy 
obviously. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, I see the vision. I flux with it. It's like a bullet bill. Boom, boom. What are you all about, huh? Levitate? Oh my god, that special attack stat is disgusting. It's just a gun. Not too crazy on it. There's so many other Pokemon I want to use. Of course, Suncarn is a Gunstone Evolution, which actually is probably one of the biggest upgrades. This thing is so cool. Just, just, just has like a guy with a Nerf gun living inside him now. So Kern, I love it. That is one I would actually consider using. Oh wait, hold on. This thing's a Gunstone Evolution? I had no idea. Um, okay. Beast Fearly. I ain't really got much to say about that, I'll be honest. Oh my god, what the- oh my goodness. This- I, what am I looking at? So we got this guy evolved. He's a high half in his evolution, so he's like over leveled, but we're not planning on using him. Uh, but he has a Gunstone evolution also, which is just this guy. I prefer the- I prefer the Haunch Crow, I'll be honest with you. The- the Parta Crow. But since we're making this episode all about Gunstones, we may as well, uh, may as well get them done, you know? This guy also has a Gunstone evolution. Yeah, we've already seen this guy. This- it looks like a, um, plants versus zombies thing, I think. This guy has a Gunstone evolution. Okay, that's news to me. Oh, it's this. Okay, yeah, this thing- okay. Not my favorite but all right sure so in terms of gunstone evolutions that we're missing i believe we're missing drone mega Ledians, which we can get in the wild and then there's panzillary which we got in the wild already and then there's the spoink one so i guess in the meantime since i can't go back to the the main pokemon land yet we should probably beat up the guy that's in the way with this new team i just crafted so this thing is more of a special attacker now which i'm, I'm game for maybe we'll do will o wisp instead of sleep powder because uh, our physical defense sucks so we can you know cover that a little bit with some burns okay so this thing is a dragon fighting type we have storm surge here huge rush of water hammers the foe it has a high critical hit ratio ah uh, sure let's run with that i wish i could give this thing assault vest this just screams assault vest mon to me i feel more comfortable with bulk up over swords events i guess we'll just have to do outrage for now instead of um dragon claw no ideal but it'll do actually you know looking at its attacks that maybe it just comes in and it just wallops things so maybe we'll just um we'll just run like super tough moves like and just have it come in and do damage instead of setting up so yeah let's do wood hammer as the last move why not uh we can maybe give it this scope lens I don't know. If, I don't think Thick Club works on it, right? Okay. I just looking at it. Thick Club it does not buff this one, but it does buff the pre-evolutions. So there is still like a reason to use the pre-evolutions, I would say. All right, this is the guy, Tucker. Oh, okay. I guess it's just like the Battle Frontier guy. I don't know why he's here, but whatever. So yeah, okay. Seems to be a fairy team. I'm gonna just. Hmm. Good question. Okay, let's just body slam the. Wait, you have Wild Charge now? I did not sign up for that. I forgot to change your move. I'm so sorry. Uh, I guess we'll just give it Smart Strike in the meantime. Uh, there's the Fake Out. Smart Strike into the Magis Magician. Magician, I just got that. If that was Iron Head, I feel like it would have killed. All right, Body Slam and... Yeah, E-Speed's not going to work here. And of course, there's the Full Restore. Smart Strike again. This thing's getting greedy. Paralyze it. Wait. Oh, wait, okay. I was thinking of Sheer Force where the secondary effect doesn't... Wait, really? Really? Oh my god, dude. I'm about to get fucked. Never mind, I'm still faster somehow. Hello, Pixinite. Take a play rough, but that doesn't really... Oh, wow, that actually... Wait, that was a crit. Okay. Oh, my attack dropped. That's actually bad. You got a Body Slam off from Pixinite, which is nice. Huge. And of course, it has cute charm for some godforsaken reason i don't feel like dealing with that to be honest you know what? i'm gonna just smart strike it hopefully it just dies ah human guard's gonna go down huh nope we live breakthrough we don't love these hoes we don't love these hoes let's go and he's got a bioxis which is a fairy poison type if i remember correctly kachow kind of just solos this team not gonna lie we're gonna save kachow because uh i don't want the attack drop and of course magician gets healed up mock punch and human guard goes down that's fine we can now bring in a fully attacked up kachow Ciao. Go for the smart strike here. And then we'll go for glacial bang. Why not? Smart strike just kills it outright. Nice. And we have festival lift. Okay, level 60. This is the level cap mod. Glacial bang. Ah, uh, it's soundproof, so glacial bang doesn't hit it. Why is soundproof proc'd twice this episode? That feels wrong. Smart strike doesn't quite kill. I think if it was iron head, it might actually shoot up a kill. Magician hurts itself. Overheat. Ow. Ow. Alicia went for the Dundee, which is the lesser threat of the two here. I'll bring in my own festival lift. Why not? Smart strike again. And then let's move blast. Move blast takes out the magician last mon inflable okay this thing has been healed so many times please just let it go thank you and kachow finishes with a strength because we ran out of smart strikes wow what an easy battle and he was stopping us from saving the small child we have this creepy guy here listen man no one else is gonna want you let me let, just let me take care of you man thank you so we did that but uh i believe there's more stuff to do on one island uh tucker was the second battle there's another guy called gerald which i don't think i took on yet 
if I had to guess, Gerald would be deeper in one island. So um, yeah, we're going to check that out next time. Thank you all so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, Gunstone episode of Pokemon All Red with a gun. Uh, have a good rest of your day, guys. Appreciate you all for watching. Uh, really, really do. Bye.